Hello fellow YouTubers, in this video I'm going to be doing a unboxing of the SanDisk Extreme card. Now guys, you're probably familiar with the product anyway and there's not much to unbox, but while I have my hands on this particular product, I thought I might as well show it to you and maybe do a quick test in comparison to Samsung SDHC cards that I have. So I could show you the performance. Now Samsung SDHC card that states super speed or something like that does about 20 megabytes per second on USB 3.0 write and read speeds. And we will see what this one can do. So we have a free download of let's see free download of rescue pro deluxe and and recovery software or something like that which i'm not really interested not at the moment anyway maybe i will be more interested when something goes wrong now i'm trying to undo this packaging so this is the sdhc card just give me one sec i'm actually going to give you a better picture Okay, so this is the SDHC card, so it's 45 megabytes per second. You have a little nice box there. Now, according to SanDisk, I'm just gonna go quickly through my, the box where my manners. Um, it's a waterproof, temperature proof, shock proof, and x ray proof. Obviously, to an extent, um, it's recommended for high speed full hd video 3d and things like that and it's up to 45 megabytes per second now i know these guys do 90 i think 5 megabytes per second something like that but it's much more expensive card this one is quite actually cheap as in comparison to other cards some details on the back nothing to rave about really and as i mentioned before rescue pro Del rescue pro deluxe edition one year software download offer so well, i'll try that but i'm not going to include that into review because i i don't know when i'm going to actually do it so there we go that's the card itself now one thing with this card you probably already noticed you cannot remove a um, little tiny card from the back of it and basically use it from a smartphone so the card is one single block looking like this so you won't be able to use it for your smartphone nor should you need something as fast for a smartphone use and this is your lock and lock button that is really stiff which i like because i had some issues with samsung cards and i had to basically believe it or not super glue it here because otherwise it would keep opening and closing as I was putting it into the camera. So that's the card itself. Um, nothing unusual, nothing amazing from the way it looks. Um, nice looking card, but that's about it. So now I'm going to actually show you some screenshots and I'm going to talk about the performance of the card. Okay, and here are the results. So on the left, you can see the Samsung 16 gigabyte class 10 micro SDHC extreme, extreme speed card. And on the right, you can see the SanDisk Extreme SDHC Class 10 memory card. So both are Class 10 memory cards, both are SDHC, which is normal. Now, one thing is Samsung has this micro SDHC card basically inside. So it goes through an adapter. I've tried the benchmarking with the adapter and without, and the results are the same. So just so you know, guys. So basically, as you see, a SanDisk is twice as fast as the Samsung card. Now, I'm not saying Samsung card is slow. I'm using G hacked GH1 and Samsung card is plenty for that. Um, you would benefit in case of higher bitrate. So in case you have uh, GH2, so Panasonic GH2 or GH3 or Canon 5D or something even faster with more bitrate coming through into the SD card where you would need something like that. Also, if you're shooting uh, raw and especially if you're shooting raw in burst mode that's where these cards would excel the sandisk 45 megabytes per second um also the one down point of the samsung uh, card was the lock mechanism it was really flimsy and really easy to lock so basically by putting the camera the card in the camera 
Uh, from time to time, I would simply lock the cards and uh, as time goes, it would happen all the time. So I had to super glue the lock button. Well, it's a cheap and easy fix, but shouldn't be uh, required. So yeah, that's the review guys. Overall, I really like the SanDisk cards. Um, now I showed you this background here because according to SanDisk, it's waterproof, temperature proof, shock proof and x-ray proof. Now Samsung does mention something about being waterproof as well. So guys, um, although it shouldn't come to that, but if you drop both of these cards in the seawater, even if the camera is destroyed, you should be able to recover the data off the cards. And if that happens, obviously make sure first that you remove the battery off the device. So it would not do any extra damage by short circuiting what's not needed. So yeah, that's it. Um, if you like the video, click the like button and subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day.